All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. We sent it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of San Salvador, El Salvador, presenting the challenger, Evo Way. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Shanghai, China. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the <laughs> Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice straight punch. 
Ortiz, hook to the body, now is blocked. Right on the elbow, body to lane. Just misses there with the left. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, you might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Both fighters get up now. Able to check that kick as well. Big off punch lands, now he gets back to range. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize it. Single collar tie now. Boy, tie club. Right hand upstairs. Big head kick lands. Just unable to quite find that range. over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lee's kick to the body is blocked. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach and he made good use of it there. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Big punch lands through the middle. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. The right hook to the body. Unable to connect with the right hand there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going wow. right to the target. Got the takedown. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. You got to start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love with grappling. <laughs> really being a king. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed. Nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
kick, that's a miss. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, elbow to the head in the clinch. That one landed flush by Lee. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice. Unable to connect there. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Beautiful punch. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if as first, don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice stupid punch. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice. Well, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Just misses with the straight left hand. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Under a minute to go. Clip with the right hand. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. The next with the right. Oh, single collar tie here. Looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Round three next. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, 
and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch, Lance. Stop. All right, so a nice straight punch there after. Oh. Oh, hook to the body here, but strong defense by Lee. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters he has in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Nice combination there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Back and forth we go. What a punch. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh, well, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Another strike to the body, pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Single collar tie now. That was a nice strike. Right hand upstairs. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Beautiful body kick. Liver kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, he lands another kick down here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. Like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Lee gets back up. No surprise there. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands look phenomenal tonight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. And now.
now he's got the tie clinch. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up for the big knee to the head. What a body kick. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, Someone's gonna get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Big punch land. Ooh. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Oh, nice straight left. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He lifted him with the right hand there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Hands on your face. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Take down here, he gets it. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Big kick land. Just out of range with that right hand. Ooh, head kick land. Hurt. Just misses with the jab there. Beautiful strike. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. Drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable rest. What a punch. 90 seconds to go now. All right, he engages in the single paddle tie. Oh, nice right hand. Nice head kick. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Boom! Oh, that jab hurt him. Into the final mix of this championship fight. 
very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Take many of those, you better check. Back and forth we go here. One of the most important strikes for Clinch is his big body shot. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. Try to establish that jab. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Beautiful kick. Body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Separate. Straight punch lands. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Way to hide that leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk. Oh, there's lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Big kick lands. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. There's no tell on that leg kick. Two minutes now to go in this one. Big knee, knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Good stick. Working out of that southpaw stance. Nice body kick right on the elbow. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it in his forward blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more 
great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh, nice right hand. Big kick land. single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Got the single collar tie. Great punch landed with so much power. 15 seconds. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh! Well, what a title fight it was. What a showcase it was for this division. But at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score this contest 49 46 for the winner by unanimous decision and still Undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight.